So patients that suffer from Usher syndrome uh, typically uh, uh, develop hearing loss early in life. Um, th so they start in childhood, uh, typically by their teens, they need uh, hearing implants to, uh, to yep, rescue whatever is left of their hearing capability. Um, and typically by their late teens, they would, you know, without hearing aids, not be able to hear anything. At that point in time, patients start to develop tunnel vision. So they start to get blind from the outside in, which gets more narrow over time until they are completely blind, typically by um, their mid 40s. Um, today, there's nothing really that can help these patients. So uh, the ear part of their disease, the hearing loss, can be taken care of with hearing implants, with cochlear implants. Um, but the, for the eye part of the disease, the, the, the tunnel vision, the blindness, uh, there's nothing available today to help patients with that aspect of the disease. We are developing a therapy that, um, uh, that, that aims to stop the progression of the disease and potentially even increases the visual field in patients such that they uh, can regain some of the vision that they have lost. Uh, patients typically have a long path to diagnosis. So um, obviously when, when patients go deaf in their childhood, they don't immediately get diagnosed with Usher syndrome because there's many different forms, many different reasons that can lead to uh, hearing loss. So when they then start to develop tunnel vision later on in their teens, um, uh, typically it's still a long path to get diagnosed with Usher syndrome uh, because up to the moment that the, that the connection is made between the hearing loss and the, the tunnel vision, um, there's, there's no strong signals that guide one way or the other. Once they're diagnosed, um, it's, um, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a tough diagnosis because there's no treatment. And uh, we hope to change that for these patients.